How's it going everybody? If you're new here, my name is Rob. You are on the Rob Seymour Bikes YouTube channel. Today I'm actually going to uh, show you guys one of my other hobbies actually, which is RC cars and Lego, but today's more about RC cars. I've got a few here. Uh, I've had them for a little while. I've had the drift car there for maybe about a year or so. Got it from a RC Hobbies outlet. It's, you know, HSP Flying Fish drift car. It's got some rubber wheels on it right now. I do have a brushless kit in there, but I'll show you guys all that uh, in a few minutes here. the thing is a little dirty it's covered in some dog hair and stuff like that um recently i uh actually shot my battery and by shot my battery i mean i recently destroyed this little lipo right here uh, i'm not sure exactly what the problem is it does throw up a issue on the charger i did bring it to pro advantage and they told me to just call venom and uh, get another battery so this car here is basically my workhorse typically during the summer months i have these lovely little plastic wheels on there. But currently, as you saw, I have uh, some rubber wheels on there. And the reason I have the rubber on there at the moment is because outside is quite slushy and gross and covered in dirt. And uh, at some point in this video, I'll, I'll add in some clips of the car, mostly, uh, as you can tell, with the GoPro mount on the roof there. They're gonna be mostly GoPro clips and uh, some you know, iPhone clips and stuff like that. Yeah, as I was saying, I've had this thing for about a year. It's been killer. The brushless kit in it makes this thing outrageous, especially because it's a drift car. It's not really meant to go all that fast in a straight line. With the rubber wheels on there though, it hauls. These things, not so much. I do plan on getting myself like a four x four, um, I think it's like the Traxxas Rustler four x four or something like that. Either way, I'm thinking of getting myself a, a four wheel drive truck at some point to uh, mob around on the snow and everything like that, but kind of costly. So I kind of have to go what I have for now. But other than this drift car, I also have two other little ones here on the shelf that I had to do some weird modifications to to actually get them going. So I'll uh, show you guys those right now. So basically we have two of the same car. Now, this one here, this is a Team Lossy Mini T. I had to actually uh, modify, so it has the Lee Trax, not Lee Trax, has La Trax Rally um, components in it, basically. So I'll, I'll flip that open and uh, show you guys that in a second. And this little guy here, if you know anything about Team Lossy, this is a Micro T. And I've actually sit on top of the Mini, We'll see why it's called the micro. Yeah, so here we have the micro T on top, the micro T on top of a mini T. This body was, uh, well, when I got it, it was painted, so I just painted it black. As you can tell the size, I believe this one is 1 18th scale, and this one is 1 32nd scale, which straight up just eat it. And that guy, by the way, is 1 10th scale. Yeah, these things are pretty cool too. I don't have a lot of footage of uh, this one. I have some of this one. They don't nearly go as fast as this guy does in brushless. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the insides here. So like I was saying, this one here has Latrax um, components inside. So it's essentially a roller. I mean, it wasn't a roller. It, it did have parts in it. But I took them out, modified it, and put in the Latrax brain. Uh, this was the Latrax motor, but I ended up using the original motor and just splicing it in here. This isn't the best battery, but it does work. Gives it a little bit more uh, output. Kind of taped in here because taking this thing outside, the battery is not technically meant for this, so it was a little bit uh, getting thrown around a little bit. Let me take this tape off here. All right. 
All right, yeah, so disconnect this battery. Pull the battery out. I believe that this battery, 7.2 volt, 1000 milliamps, not a terribly large battery by any degree, but it was better than the four double A's that the uh, Mini T generally takes. Now, the Latrax battery was actually quite long, which hooked up to this, but it just didn't give it enough power. So I had to, you know, cut out all these little sections in here to get a nice little battery fitment. And if you look close enough, that servo there, and actually all of this stuff here, is not from this car. It is from the, well, you can tell right on there, Latrax. So I did have the Latrax rally and I kind of miss having that thing, but this thing, it's a lot more cool, especially with top on it. It's a lot more cool than the rally car, especially when you have its little mini brother. Now this one here, the only thing I really needed for this was a battery but I did have to modify the car itself to get the battery in there. So, you know, just normal Team Lossy internals with this lovely uh, thing that just doesn't really work all that well and is always uh, interfered by other components. You see the battery's hanging at the bottom there. Now typically, this is covered in plastic. I had to cut and break this, and again, this is why there's tape on here, because this body, is actually no longer connected on the sides as you can tell just no longer connected it's only connected really from this top piece so I'll have to build something at some point to, to brace across here other than just you know gaffer tape or whatever but for now it works and it's sick but yeah that's the beast that's the that's the fun one uh, I did try to I did try to recently modify the body here to have some sort of a, you know, like, like, like bottom shell so I could uh, save the electronics, but I ended up just rubbing the wheels too much and I had to take it off. So that's where that, if you guys can't tell, this does have lights, lights front and back, as you can tell, hooked up. And they do work, and in the videos that I show you guys, they will be working, but because my battery uh, is shot, I, I can't really do anything with it right now, so. And I probably should have made videos a little bit earlier on when I was doing the modifications and stuff like that, but I didn't think about it, and now we're here. So, if you guys want to see more RC content, please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. RCs are fun, especially as a hobbyist and someone who likes to modify and create and build and, well, drift. <laughs> anyway, peace out guys, bye-bye.